recording. Okay. And then, and then, okay. So bands, I, I have circular bands, but for some reason I, I can only find the super, super heavy one. So I have my, my very strong resistance band and I just decided to make a few others um, because it's the same thing. So here's my light one and here is my medium one. I don't ever really want to assume that you and I agree that light and medium are this, you know, what's light to you may not be light to me, all that kind of stuff. So it's just nice to have options. Um, so get yourself organized with your options. And then also weights. I've got, I'm likely going to use fives and eights today. Um, and I'm just gonna keep those ready to go. You put them alongside my space. And we're gonna start down on the mat today. And we're gonna start with the weight, with the bands today, okay? So grab, grab those bands. Let me just make sure and I can see. Okay. So first, without the band, we're gonna have just a little bit of a warm up, okay? So you can come to your hands and knees and we're gonna point our fingertips forward and see if you can get your knees directly underneath your hips. And then we're gonna round through the spine and then arch to the back. And I want you to start right away at taking a much deeper breath also because I can't be the only one that doesn't really take an appropriate amount of time, whatever that means, to kind of like emotionally leave the last thing that I was just doing right before I start my, my sacred time to, to pay attention to my body, to tune in and to try and leave all the rest of the bullshit behind. <laughs> just for an hour. Okay, so this is your moment. This is your moment. Deep breaths. Let's just do one more each way here. Feel free to take your time or go faster, whatever your body wants right now. And then we're going to come back center and we'll do a little bit of side to side to stretch open the ribs and to move the spine in a different way. I'm looking back at my own foot or the side of my own tush. And I'm definitely trying to not hold my breath. I think stuff like this is also really great as long as your wrists aren't angry to begin with um, at working at wrist mobility, okay? Coming down onto our hands and knees is something that for, for a lot of people gets harder and harder to do. And I think part of the reason is just that we lose that wrist mobility. It also is kind of a fragile little joint. Um, come back to the center. And now, speaking of wrist mobility, we're going to work on exactly that as we lean back a little bit and forward a little bit. And right, you can feel that in your hand when you come forward. Um, I often talk about this, but I, I took a workshop a few years ago, and it really was one of the most interesting workshops I've taken called Original Strength. And the person who ran the workshop was really interested in how we develop strength as babies. So remember that time when you were a baby <laughs> and you did this and really what this is right here is an opportunity for us to develop mobility and strength in our hands, our shoulders, our hip joints, our knees, where this is a core exercise as a baby. This was a precursor to crawling. Um, and I just, I can't even imagine the, the muscular, the way it feels for a baby to be able to do one thing and then the next, like, all that development was, it was so cool to think about it that way. So this can be restorative is really what I'm getting at. This simple movement is us just returning to those days when we did this so we could do more things, okay? So let's just do one more each way. And then we'll come back to the center and let's just take a quick little lovely, sit back on your heels, stretch your arms forward. 
and relax your head and just take a really nice deep breath here. Reach back through your tail and forward through your fingers. Take one inhale, exhale here. And then shimmy your hands, both of them over to the right. So your left hand is on the right side of your mat and the right hand is really reaching way out to the right. Take a breath. Stretch your left hip away from the reach in your right, in your left hand. And then shimmy, shimmy, shimmy back. And let's go over to the other side. Reach forward through the right fingertips and reach back through the right hip. Take a breath. And then come back to the center. And we will come forward. So we are again, hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring, let's bring the knees together actually. And I want you to curl your toes forward and sit back towards your heels. I just want you to give your feet a little bit of mobility stretch too. So inch yourself back. So you suddenly start to feel a stretch in through the foot. Now, some of you, your feet are pretty stretchy. This could be it for you, or you may say, I could take a little more of a stretch and you'll come up and you will sit back. This is a much deeper stretch. The more upright you are and the more forward your toes are, that is the, that's the mobility and the stretch through the foot that you'll be feeling. So just come here, give me one deep breath and exhale. Good. And then come on back, uncurl your toes. Okay. We're gonna start by extending one leg at a time. When you extend one leg at a time, I don't want you to shift back and forth too much with your hips. Stay fairly um, center as you extend the leg and then come back and then extend the opposite leg and come back. I normally just use my rug, but I felt like the, the knees wanted the extra mat today, okay? It's always nice to have a squishier mat on hand. You never know when you're gonna need it. So how about those deep breaths? I want you to feel strong through your hands the best you can. Just a quick tip here, if you are experiencing wrist discomfort, some of my um, friends and clients grab weights that are kind of big and the act of holding onto a weight takes the pressure off the wrist. So feel free to try that. Let's do three more sets here. And three, and I want you to deepen that breath. Try not, some people when they're breathing, they hold on to the breath for a few seconds. Um, I want you to find a flow with your breath. It is the movement. Your breath is, is the foundation of the movement. Let's do one more each way. And then we're coming back. And now we're gonna bring the hands in just a little bit so they're hair closer. Bring your left arm out to the side, like you're half of an airplane. Try to keep your shoulders even with one another. And then bring that left hand back and let's reach out with the right. Reach wide, like your fingertips are reaching all the way to the right side of the room. And then come back and let's keep going. And now you know your body. Maybe you will extend and lift a little bit and add a little bit of rotation just because it feels good, or maybe not. Maybe you're changing this in some way. Okay, I want you to open your chest here and bring the arm up as high as it feels good for you to come. There's sort of a sweet spot for me. If I go really high, it starts to get a little necky for me, which isn't too bad, but we're still warming up. Let's do two more sets here. And then one more each way, another side. And then come back to the center, come on up, just to twirl the wrist for a minute in both ways. And then bring your arms by your sides, open your chest, move your head right and left. Feel like you're in a nice straight line here. Eyes open for this part it, or close as long as you're feeling um, like it feels nice and you feel safe. One more each way. And now we're gonna come center. We'll extend up through the left arm. Look down towards the right hand. Stretch up and down at the same time. I'm not leaning over quite so much as I am expanding through the left side. Drive the left knee down just a little bit. 
And then let's come back to the center with straight arms. Take a breath. And then we'll try the other side. Um, lengthen down through your knees and forward through your pelvis. So I'm giving the backs of the inner thighs a little squeeze and the pubic bone is pressing forward. So I have a nice straight-ish line there. Inhale, come back to the center. We'll do each way again. Reach up and down at the same time. Inhale, come back to center. And then one more. And then come back to the center and bring your arms down. Okay, I'm gonna grab my lighter band that I have tied. If you need to tie your band, go ahead and do it. I just, I just have, I made like two knots. They're tight enough so I can get it out later, okay? I'd rather have you have it come apart than have you never ever be able to access your light band again. <laughs> okay, so after you have your band tied, this is how we're gonna get set up. You're gonna bring the band slightly behind you and you're gonna slip it onto the, the top part of your left foot. You see, like that. And then the right foot is going to go in the band as well. So it's on my right arch. Left foot, the top of the foot is gonna be pressing down into the mat. Right foot, the arch of the foot has the other side of the band. Make sure it's fairly centered. It may slip off. We will find out. Hands underneath the shoulders, and we're gonna just play around with what this feels like. So I kind of want you to ever so slightly flex the foot so the heel is reaching up, and you're gonna to start to press up a little bit and come back down. So depending on how big your actual circle is, you may be able to come all the way back to the ground and still have resistance on the band or not. So you're gonna figure out what your range of motion is based on what the resistance of your band is, and the rest of you is going to stabilize. Hands under the shoulders, none of that's moving around. I grabbed a mat here because I feel more force down into my left knee, okay? We added, we just added weight to this movement and it's increasing the force into my left knee. So I feel great that I grabbed this mat. I'm gonna do six more here and five and four and three, and two, and for fun, little pulses, high up. Eight, seven, six, ooh, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna see if we can switch without too much commotion happening. I was able to do it. Woohoo! Okay, so right foot is down, left foot, I'm leaning, I'm leaning out with my heel just a little bit, and I'm pressing up. So I really like that you have to press down through the right foot as much as you're pressing up through the left leg. We are breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Little pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Ooh, and come all the way down. Okay, from here, take that light band off and I'm grabbing the medium band. You don't have to switch around as much as I am. I just want to, okay? I'm gonna go a little bit higher in resistance and I'm slipping the band over my feet to come to above the knee. I don't want you right on the knee, okay? I don't want you right on the knee. You can always go below too if that feels better. And we're gonna come onto our sides, all right? So um, knees are bent. I'm gonna lie all the way down like this and flex the feet. Just a quick spine check in here. Find your neutral, sits bones that way, crown of the head that way, and we're lifting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and lie all the way down. From here, straighten the legs all the way out. Find that nice long spine here. Hand is part of your stability. Don't bring it too far forward, right in front of the ribs. And we lift both legs. I'm not using the resistance of the band. And exhale. See if you can find a little long body feeling here. Energy through the feet, energy through the head. Easy neck. Maybe you wanna move this arm a little bit. You can bring it to your side or somewhere else. Let's do five more here. Five and four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and come back. Okay, long spine, go ahead and check in. Neutral pelvis, top leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold at the top, little pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Woo. all the way down. Straighten the legs out, long spine, hand close, lift and lower. If you wanna move your arm again, that's fine. You could also add a head lift here. Six, five, four, three, try and keep that neck long, two, and one, come all the way down. Bend your knees and come forward again. Again, just a reminder, I don't want all that pressure directly on the knee. Make sure you're above the knee with your band. Last little set here, find your neutral. Stick your tush out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold here, little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all the way down. Lengthen back out. Last set here. Hand is close. You are nice and long. Feel that length before you begin. And we're still letting the breath be the foundation of the movement. How do, the, how do the deep breaths make the exercise feel? Hopefully they help, they make you feel a little bit more connected through your midsection. You can add the head lift if you'd like, and you can even put your arm by your side. Let's do five more. And four. And three. And two. Last one, all the way down. Come back onto your hands and knees. I'm just gonna leave my, um, my extra mat off to the side for this just because I think it's easier for you guys to see my legs. <laughs> but I, it's okay, I feel fine. Hands underneath the shoulders. I still have the same band, the blue one. <clears throat> it's a medium band and a similar exercise, same leg. It was my left leg that was doing the lifting, same. Same exercise, different gravity force, right? Out to the side, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it out and hold, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ooh, and then come down. Okay, let's roll right over to the other side. Row the toe back. Change your band if you want to. You can go heavier, lighter, whatever. Of course, you don't even need the band. It's all up to you. But we're starting with our spinal alignment, okay? So you should feel like your sits bones are reaching in that direction, crown of the head in that direction, and top leg moves. Two, three. As I'm picking it up and putting it back down again, I'm trying not to rock and roll forward and back here. Okay. As you can see, I'm staying nice and centered and still. Last four, three, 
two, top, hold, little pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Whew. all the way down. Straighten the legs. Find your long U, lengthen and easy their neck. And when you're ready, you lift and lower the legs and you breathe. I don't want you overly pushing yourself up here. Of course, I'm using my hand, but I want you, if you're really reliant on that hand, maybe make a change. Maybe you're just lifting the top leg a little bit and trying to find your balance. I don't know, play around with that, but I don't want you to overuse this top arm just to get your legs up. Last five and four, three, and this side could feel different from the other side. And that's normal. One more and come on down. Okay, let's come back here. Make sure your bands above your knees, re-neutralize the low back and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Oh, little pulse, 10, nine, whew, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Straighten those legs. We'll have another go at this. Find your length. Maybe this time start with a breath. Inhale deeply. And then it always feels different when I start with that breath. Activating those deeper core muscles. You can add your head lift if you'd like. Try and keep the neck long. Four, three, two, last one. Bend down. Bend your knees, last set here. Okay, pull up the band if it moved around. Stick out the booty, lengthen out through the crown of the head. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, little pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Straighten those legs. Find your long spine one last time. Take a breath first, okay? And then continue the movement with the foundation of the breath. Add the arm in a different place or the head lift, whatever feels right for you. Last five. And four. And three, and two, last one, and come all the way down. All right, let's come onto our hands and knees one more time on this side. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, hands maybe a little closer together. Right leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift and hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, ooh, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the knee down. Quick stretch here, lean back, reach forward, inhale, exhale. Good. All right, let's come on up. We are going to, no, I'm sorry, we're not coming up. Take the band off your legs and sit on your booty. We're gonna grab our weights now. Put the bands to the side. One, two, three. I am going to keep my fives and my eights close. I'm gonna start with my fives. And for the second set of what we're doing, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I may decide to use my eights, okay? What I like to do with my weights, is lie down, grab the weights safely, 
and roll onto my back. And I'm gonna try really hard not to drop the weights on my face today. Doesn't that sound like a nice idea? Okay, I put them down for a minute. Okay, but these are nice and light. When it gets heavier, the practices of how you pick up your heavy weights is kind of important. Okay, feet kind of close to your tush. Nice and easy movement, elbows right by your sides, eyes up, shoulders down. Let's, before we move, find our spine and breath and take a nice deep inhale and a really good exhale. Okay, we're going to be pressing the arms up, coming down, sliding them out to the sides, Ooh, my other weight's in the way, and then extending up like that, wide. Come in, straight up, down, slide out, reach up. Oh, the point's in the way. Slide in, reach up, down, wide, reach out, slide in, reach up, down, wide, up, down, in, up, down, out. Do three more and in, up and out, three and in and out, up, two, in, up and wide and come up. And now come back to where you started. Both arms are going to come up. Both elbows are going to soften east and west. Right arm only, out to the side, bring it on back. Left arm, keep going here, keep going. All of my things. Okay. One arm at a time. What I like about one arm at a time, stuff like this on your back, is there's an opportunity for you to use your core I am feeling my midsection remaining stable, okay, along the way. I kind of like knees together, feet together. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Let's do four more sets here. <sighs> and three. Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Belly button is in. Find those core deep breaths. One more set here. Other side. Now pause both arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Come on down for a second. Extend the arms, just maybe wiggle your fingers, relax your wrist for a sec. Inhale, exhale. Come on back up. Holding on tightly to your waist, triceps. Bend so the weights go right behind your head, perhaps tap the floor. Make sure you're not tucking in your pelvis, you're remaining neutral and engaged. And then exhale, come on right back up again. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale. Use your breath, you guys. And if you find your mind is starting to wander a little bit into the rest of your day, bring it back to your body. Feel the way your breath feels. Notice where your parts are. Give yourself this little bit of time to stay centered and focused if you can. It's okay. Our minds are naturally going to fly around like free little birds. We can just gently say, come on back, little bird. Stay with me here. Last two. One more. And then come on back down, okay? I'm putting my weights to the side so they're out of the way. And I'm just going to um, twirl my wrist for a moment, get a little stretch there, and bring the arms by my sides. Feet hip distant, not too far from your tush. Shoulders are pulled underneath you. Exhale, hips up. Inhale down. I am staying neutral here. Okay, I'm not articulating through the spine, pushing through the heel a little bit more than the rest of the foot, but the whole foot is grounded. 
and the arms are pressing down. Let's do five more. And five, four, three, neck is easy. And then one more and lower down. Okay, I'm gonna try my eights here. So I'm gonna roll to the side, grab my eights, see how this excitement goes. Feet are a little bit closer to the tush. Belly button is in. Both arms are going to come up here. Um, make sure you're holding onto your weights in a way so they're not gonna fall, bend, and come on back up. So we're gonna start with this first exercise, which is down, wide, reach up, down, slide in, reach up, down, keeping my midsection as a major part of this exercise, okay? So I feel I'm not getting overly tucky or overly arched. I feel like my spine is neutral and my abdominals are fairly engaged. Wide, slide in, reach up, down, wide, reach up. We're doing three more sets here. Three. And three. And two. And two. And one. And one. Come down, come in. Put your weights down for just a moment. Wiggle your fingers, relax your wrists. Come back to center, inhale. Arms up. One arm at a time. Out to the side. Come on back. There's a little bit of a bend to the elbow as I bring, your, bring my arm out laterally to the side. It's kind of a, an opportunity for yes, the arm out to the side is the movement, but the exercise is remaining stable through the rest of the body. Lots of attention there. Last four. And four. And three. And three. I always like doing arm work on the floor because it gives me an opportunity to let my neck relax. And other side. Now we're doing both arms. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, Woo. all the way down. Let's take a break here. Wiggle your fingers, relax your wrists. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale. Triceps, bend, extend. For this one, because my weights are a bit heavier, I'm bringing them together on the flat end and I'm going to bend, exhale. Okay, just keep breathing, but feel that the breath is part of it. Let's do eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. One more. Come all the way down. Extend the arms by your sides. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Circle, 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 circle these wrists. Okay, I'm doing another set of hip lifts here, but I'm gonna grab my eights and keep them right on my pelvis. I'm adding the weights here. You can or you don't have to, it's up to you. Up, two, three, press through the heels, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, let's do 10 more, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and come all the way down. Okay, put them there to the sides just for a minute. Inhale, exhale. We've got another set of that arm work to do. I'm gonna stay with my eights. We'll see how it goes, okay? Grab those weights, get your neck long, get yourself situated and aligned. Take an inhale. 
And we start arms, elbows close, arms up, down, slide out, reach up, and in, and wide, and in, and wide, in, and wide, and in, and wide, three more sets, three, three, two, two, one, one, come down and in and down, take a breath, wiggle your fingers if you need to, come on back up, straighten the arms, okay, so <clears throat> slight soft elbows, out to the side, up to the other side, okay, so my pace is my pace, and yes, you can do that if you'd like, but maybe you're going slower, or maybe your weights are either lower or heavier, and you're going faster or slower. I don't know. You may make your own choice. Please do that, in fact. And up. Last three sets. Three. And three. And two. And two. And one, and one, come up, both arms, two, three, four, five, six, last two here, seven, Woo. last one, oh yeah, all the way down. Whew. Inhale, exhale, take a breath there. I feel like I want to. We've got our triceps to do. Grab those weights and bring it up. I'm putting my weights together. And two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, just for fun, halfway down, little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, woo, six, five, four, three, two, one. And oh my gosh, put the weights down for just a second. Wiggle your fingers, take an inhale, exhale. Okay, one more set of squats here. I'm gonna use those eight pound weights again for my squats. Weights come on your hips if you'd like. <clears throat> Feet can go more narrow or wide. It's really up to you, but let's stay neutral in our pelvis. Drive the hips up. Two, three, four, neck is long. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down. All right, put the weights to the sides. Let's bring your arms out wide with your palms up. And let's just move the head a little bit from side to side. Look to the right and look to the left. And look to the right and look to the left. And then come back to the center. Okay, from here, I am going to um, roll to the side and come on up to sit. Come on up to sit. I'm putting my heavier, my eights off to the side, and I'm gonna grab my fives. We'll see how this goes. Here is a seated exercise, kind of abs and legs at the same time. So I'm gonna grab my fives here, and I'm gonna put together on the um, flat end so they can stay together. And then sit at tall, bent knees, toes forward, knees kind of together, shoulders are down. Okay, so small movement first. 
back a little. Um, so, okay, this is a great little exercise for the hips, for the flexors, and also for your belly and your back. I want you to breathe. Your range of motion could be more than mine. Maybe you're going further back. I don't know, it's up to you. We're gonna add to this, but I wanna get the foundation. Um, I want you to be using your deep breaths as you move and not holding your breath. I like exhale to come forward. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. For a moment, feet together. Weights on your feet. Round forward, release your head. Inhale, exhale. And then come back up to sit. Draw your abdominals in. Bring your weights back and your knees back. This next time we're gonna add, okay? Find the lift in your spine, pull your belly button in. As you lean back, extend the leg out, keeping the knees closer together and exhale, come up. I kind of like, I like actually exhale as I reach out. Helps me to pull the belly muscles in, but you can figure this out if you're breathing in a different way and it helps you to move more freely or to feel more connected, that's fine. Reach, reach, reach. Let's do three more sets. Three, three, two, two. One, and one. Knees wide, weights on your feet. Stretch, breathe. You can widen your elbows and gently push down into your knees. Move your head a little bit. Reach your chin towards your right knee. And then your left knee, come back to the center. Come on up to sit. Weights together, weights up, knees together. Okay, from here, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation here. Elbows are gonna come a bit wider, shoulders are down. As you lean back, extend the right leg and twist to the right and come center. Twist to the left, it's the left leg that's extended. And back, twist. Five more. Four more. And three. Shoulders are relaxed. And two. One more. Other side. Center, knees wide, weights to feet, wide elbows. Get your stretch on. Shoulders are down, one more, super deep breath. And come on up to sit. Okay, I'm going to put these fives to the sides and I'm gonna grab my eights again. We'll see, I'm not entirely sure that these are the right ones. We're coming to our hands and knees. And I want you to bring the weights. And the reason why I'm grabbing heavier weights also is because they are easier to hold onto. I think five should be okay as well. Make sure the flat side is really pressing into the ground. First, let's get ourselves nice and long through the spine. Let's go back to this we did in the beginning. Reach, 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 just breathe here. Four, alternating the legs, three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay, from here, we're stepping one leg out into a plank. I'm gonna show you two different um, structures here. Both legs out, okay? Or knees down for your plank. And we're holding here, 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, knees down, lean back for a stretch, release your weights and reach your fingertips forward, inhale, exhale. Just for a second, let's move the head here, you guys. Lift and look forward and lower down. Two more. Lift and look forward and lower down. One more. Up and down. Okay, we're coming back to another plank. This time, move your weights in. So they are maybe five, four or five inches apart. Step your legs out wider than your hips. Hold here. You should feel, you should try and get your tush to engage here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sit back. We will stretch. Inhale, exhale. Head up. Head down. Head up. Head down. One more. And down. Okay. Next bit. I'm going to move my heavier weights to the sides. I'm going to use my lighter weights. I'm going to try to, to do a weight lift in the next plank. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm, I'm just curious how it feels today and I'll guide you through it. If it's right for you, you'll do it. Okay. So um, we're starting off with our weights a bit more narrow. Like I said, about five inches apart. Who knows? Maybe a little wider for you. Step your legs out wider than your own hips. One arm at a time. Also, just a quick note, without the weight, this is totally fine. And to be honest with you, the movement is fine for me. I'm gonna keep my weights down today. I am moving my hips a little bit. Ideally, they will be a little bit more stable, but as long as this feels okay for you and you're breathing and you're not angry with me, let's do three more sets, three, three, Two, of course, this can be done from your knees. One more. Other side. Carefully down. And big old stretch. That was exciting. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift your head. And exhale down. One more, and exhale down. Okay, let's come up to stand. We just have a little bit more to do before you're free for the rest of the day. Come on up to stand, a little bit of band work, okay? Let me adjust a bit so you can see my face. I'm going to grab, um, I'm gonna grab my medium band. As you can see, I'm deciding that right now. For me, medium is blue. Um, okay, you can always change your mind. It's a circle. Um, we're gonna start tall. I'm gonna take my band and put it underneath my right foot. Underneath my right foot. Okay, so it's just about mid foot there. I'm gonna step my right foot forward and my left foot back. Just a quick note about balance. Um, come to the wall if you're nervous or grab a chair, totally fine. Just to give you a quick visual, my feet are about hip distant here. Toes are forward, my front knee is bent, my back leg is straight. And check out my back, it's nice and straight too. Up and back. Up and back. 
I don't want you rounding through your spine here at all. Six more. Six. And five. And four. And three. And two. One more. Halfway up, elbows wide. Two, three, spine is straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I step forward and I stand up. Let's switch feet, please. Take it off, side two. Okay, so I'll just stand this angle. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Do best you can. Spine, tall. Hinge, tall. Hinge, tall. Hinge. I like how this is an exercise that really reaches a bunch of little things going on. Like my front foot is working kind of extra hard because the band is pulling it up a little bit and I'm happy that I have my shoe on today for this exercise. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. This is our back exercise. This is more leg work, footwork, balance work here. It's really getting to it. Last three. And two. One more. Let's go halfway forward. Please make sure your spine is not um, rounded. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. I step forward. I can stand tall for a minute. And then I can take this band off my foot. And toss it to the side. Arms, thumbs hooked. Reach up. Side to side. Find your tall here and breathe. And reach. Let's do a roll down for the books. Feet about hip distance, maybe a little wider. Arms forward and then roll through the spine. And then let yourself slowly roll through. Keep your eyes open. One more time, you're in your body. Just thank it for a quick second for all the crazy, wonderful things it helps you do. Soften your knees, push down through your feet, rebuild, rebuild. We did it. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Good job. Awesome, awesome work. If you have any questions, you know who to call. <laughs> have a great day.